My name is Naur. I'm from Brazil. I'm doing an exchange program. Uh, it's called Science Without Border. So it goes, I took two semesters at the University of Guelph. I study animal science there. And here I'm doing an internship in the fish farm. So I'm a vet student in Brazil. And uh, I'm, I'm trying to learn some stuff about fish farm because I started studying it doing some research with fish in Brazil and now I'm trying to upgrade my knowledge over here. One of the guys that is helping me is Adam. Adam. I'm Adam Judge. I'm from here, Perian. It's um, where we are here, this fish farm where it's it's on a reserve. It's called the Soxing Fish Nation right now. A couple of years back, say about 20 years, it's it was Perian. Some people still prefer it as Perry Island. But I've been working here, this will be my fifth summer. Um, I do pretty much everything from feeding, shipping, dock work, um, ROV in, uh, pretty much everything. <laughs> Yeah, Adam. Adam is one of the guys that is helping me a lot to learn uh, all the stuff that go around here. And one of the stuff is the ROV. So the ROV is pretty much a robot that you can put on the water and use to check everything. Like you can check for holes in the nets. That's the main use we have. We can check the feeding, how the feeding is going. So if the fish is feeding well, you can check how they're doing with it. And you can also check for morts. So you can check for the fish health, see if there is lots of margin down there or something similar to that. And uh, it, when the, the net is down there, like in the bay, as it go, it go really deep, you can take three hours to check all the net. Yeah, we, we like to check with the ROV because when we are taking the cage out, it could get caught. If it's, could get caught on something on the way out, so it could get ripped. So that's why we like to check it when we get that out there. And once they put them down, there'd be more holes probably. So it's a it's a full time job for someone because it's it's got to be ROV. Like all the cages have to. Be. Like once you're done doing all of them once, you should do it again because there's birds, comrades, um, otters. They'll chew at the net, and make holes. Uh, so whenever we find a hole using the ROV, we pull the net back using a hook and we fix the, the hole just tie it up. And the ROV is a pretty easy machine to use. Uh, you just have to get used to it. It's usually like you have to adapt with the speed it goes and when it goes down or up, it might change a little bit so you have to control it and it tends to turn to right. So but after you learn how to use it, it gets pretty easy to deal with it. And it's a pretty good tool to have in a fish farm. That's for sure.